usually my husband's my very first reader for every book I write. And so he sees the worst of it. And then after that, it goes to my editors for my fiction book. But for this one, I told my husband, I was like, you know, honey, I think this actually needs to go to some beta readers who are self-publishing authors first before he sees it, because, you know, he'll say, okay, this kind of makes sense to me, but he doesn't have any interest in self-publishing. And so I switched up my process where I actually had some beta readers go through who were self-published authors looking to self-publish and ask them the questions first before it even went to him, who's usually my first reader, and then to editors for proofing, because I wanted to know from that first timer's perspective does this make sense? Can you follow this? Or what question did I not answer? What's the big alarm going off in your head that I haven't solved for? So it was very different, especially for my fiction, very different from the fiction process because it would be active and asking the beta readers, okay, did you print this out? And to go through it, did you work through it this way? What's the best way I can then direct you to this page? So it was a much more involved process than I've had before. And in my mind, I treated it as if I was making a course, a video course, and I wanted people to go through it and beta it. What would the questions be that I would ask them? So I treated it almost having beta readers for a course, even though it was beta readers for a workbook. So it was an added challenge. Again, you always have to herd cats when you have multiple beta readers come in, but they all did a wonderful job and gave me great suggestions. So that added to the length of the editing process, but I think it made it so much better. And did you pull those beta readers from a community that you already had created? Yeah. So I have a channel membership on my YouTube channel. I asked those members if they would like to beta read and several of them volunteered. And also from my newsletter, I had several people volunteer right away. I just put out a call for, hey, if you can commit to reading this by this date and getting me feedback, please send me an email. And then I just confirmed with them again, like, okay, so you're good with doing all of these things. And then I was able to send that to them. So I had a really solid group get back to me with that feedback. 